Hi guys and welcome back to the Cassie Project. So this week we're going to be making another birthday card for my shop. The first card that I produced was my little fox wearing clothing. So I love him, he's holding a balloon and he just looks very serious. I thought that I would develop some more cards that would be kind of on the woodland animal sort of theme. So my second card that I'm going to do is a hedgehog and she's going to be sat on a giant present. First up, I am going to start with the sketch. I don't show you in depth how I do the sketch because a lot of people just skip over the sketch part and then I'm going to go over it with my fine liner. So with animals, I discovered that the wet on wet technique seems to work quite well. So I'm just wetting the, the face of the hedgehog and then I'm just dabbing the paint in there and it kind of gives this furry texture naturally. So that, that's something that I tend to do with animals because it just makes my life a little bit easier. So I'm going in with these different brown colours um, to create this fluffy little face. Now to create a 3D effect I add a darker green into the corners um, of the box so underneath the lid it would usually be darker so I'm just adding a dark green and then I just blend it into that lighter green and that just gives it a little bit more depth. So if you would like to purchase one of these cards or stickers or books or prints or whatever, go to thecassieprojects.co.uk to get yours. Okay, so the eyes are drastic, I know, but I am gonna change them later on in the video. I it, was, it took me ages to work out what to do with the eyes, um, but I felt like just a darker eye uh, would do much better. So I'm, I'm sorry about the eyes for, the, for this part of the video, they're a little bit scary, um, but they will get better. <laughs> Again, I'm using that wet on wet technique with the jumper as well because I just wanted to add some texture to it. So I did a lot of dabbing on the jumper to make it look a little bit furry and a little bit more woolly like. I really wanted to show you the things that I didn't like about this painting because we all go through this process of going, I really don't like that. And, and the leg, the leg was a big part for me. I really didn't like it. Even to the end of the, the painting, I was like, I don't, just don't like this painting. And it's because of this furry little leg. When I bring this painting onto Procreate, I actually get rid of that leg completely because it was really bothering me. I just didn't like it. So um, yeah, that, that leg's gonna go. That leg's gonna, gonna go. Right, so let's sort out these eyes. 
because they're mental. Um, so basically I got rid of that white edge and I just deepened the eye and just had the one sparkle in there um, just to give it a little bit of life. <laughs> Now, the, the, the spiky hair was definitely a challenge. Um, I found it quite difficult. So I added lots and lots of different colors and I just kept spiking more and more colors. I started adding lighter browns. I even added full white spikes in there using my bleed proof white. And I mixed the bleed proof white with some browns just to add loads of texture in there. Now with the fox I didn't actually have a background and I regretted that so with this one I decided to do a little background so I've got like a bit of a, a greyer floor and then I'm going to create this lovely purple sky and I think I'm going to add some little little sparkles. Is it snow? Is it stars? You can decide. Now something that I really, really do is use pencil crayon. I'm not a fan of pencil crayon, but I really wanted to add some more texture into that jumper and give it that a knitted or crocheted jumper. I've really, really sharpened my pencil and I'm adding lines all down it. And then I create these V shapes, which makes it look like it's been knitted or crocheted. I, I'm really pleased that I did that. I also added a bit of shading onto the present as well. So and I quite enjoyed it. I don't usually do this, so this was a really a new technique for me, um, but I, I really enjoyed it actually. Right, so let's move this painting onto Procreate. Let's sort out that leg, because it's driving me mad. And I'm actually gonna make the present bigger, because I felt like it was very too in line. So I'm gonna increase the size of the present, uh, bring the dress down and get rid of that that little leg and move the shoes about a little bit I'm feeling a little bit more confident with procreate and being able to use it in the same sort of style as my own with my watercolor Which I've been really practicing and now I'm starting to get to know the brushes on procreate the ones that are similar to that watercolor feel is is really nice because I am able to change the composition of a painting after I've done it which is really exciting I'm gonna print those off on this satin card it's 300 GSM card and um, but it's got this lovely soft texture to it I'm uh, gonna print that off and then I'm gonna get my scoring board out and score through the middle of those so this scoring board is actually one of my favorite purchases a couple of years back I was doing some Christmas fair so I did a massive bunch of cards folding them is one of the 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 parts that's really not fun so just being able to score down the middle this easily oh was just beautiful but it also makes it so much more professional because it's scored perfectly in the middle i actually found mine on facebook marketplace for five pound i was over the moon And the joy of the scoring board as well, you can even use it for um, cutting using your cutting knife, which is amazing. Obviously, you don't want to go too hard because you don't want to ruin the plastic, but being able to cut the card nice and straight and easily, beautiful. So there you have it, there is another card for my shop. So we've got the lovely fox and we've got the lovely hedgehog. I'm really, really proud of it. It took me a while to like this painting, but I think it's come together in the end. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Do carry on watching some more videos here and I will see you soon. Bye.